Hello, I'm Glenn Ross. Welcome to SoCal's Best. We're coming to you from Bass Pro Shops here in Rancho Cucamonga to bring you some of Southern California's best camping destinations. Okay, Bass Pro Shops. They're all about all things outdoors, hunting, camping, fishing. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Just take a look around. Great stuff, right? Well, joining us now is Dave Clark, who's going to tell us all about Bass Pro Shops. Dave, what is this place all about? Well, thank you, Glenn. This place was started by our founder, CEO, Johnny Morris, in 1972. We have over 50 stores throughout the United States, including Canada. A lot of our women do believe that this store is only for men, a, a men's candy store, if you will. But I will guarantee you that 50% of our customers are men, 35% women, and the rest are future outdoorsmen in our children. Absolutely a great adventure for all ages. Anyone that wants to enjoy the great outdoors, you cannot beat it by coming to Bass Pro Outdoor World. Thank you, David. You have got to check this place out. And speaking of checking places out, we spent some time in some campgrounds. One thing about Southern California, you can camp all year around. So get out your folding chairs, light that campfire, and join us as we take a look at Southern California's finest camping destinations. Our first stop is the Pudding Stone Reservoir. Nestled between the San Bernardino 10 and the 57 freeways in the San Dimas foothills, this campsite offers all the traditional summer favorites like fishing, horseback riding, and horseshoes. With a few fall and winter extras like a cozy hot tub. Let's hit the road with Ben McCain. Looking for a great place to camp in Southern California? You'll want to check out the East Shore at Pudding Stone Lake in San Dimas. It's uh, local and it's a wilderness area. So uh, people don't have to drive very far to uh, uh, be out in nature. Dan Dempsey, who's managed the park 25 years, says there are several reasons why this is such a popular spot. Well, the views are the uh, important thing, and the grass, and the, uh, how clean the park is, the maintenance of the park. They have a problem with Johnny on the spot. Oh, it's uh, the area is just fantastic. In fact, we don't want to tell anybody about it because it's uh, like up in the mountains. We have trees, and we got the still, the freeways, the shopping real close, and it's just an excellent, excellent spot. If you're interested in horseback riding, check out the Equestrian Center at Benelli Park, right next to the campgrounds. We're open every day but Monday, but during the week you need reservations, so we'll bring a guide in to help you. And on the weekends you need reservations because we do get busy. We take you up to the highest point in the park, which is a heliport, and you get a view of the lake and a view of the valleys, and then we meander back. Right now all the cactus flowers are in bloom, so it's pretty special out there. We also offer a variety of lessons. We have a beginner lesson mainly for children at nine o'clock on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Those are $30 and our trail rides are also $30. If you're a fan of hot tubs, this is the place with a view. Basically a, a getaway for couples, even families from the normal day grind. So they'll come in, relax, or even celebrate special occasions here like um, engagements, wedding anniversaries, birthdays, that sort of stuff. And we also have weddings and receptions up here on our hilltop that overlooks the valley and uh, Plainstone Lake. Karen Conley and her husband from Fountain Valley have been visiting this campground 25 years. It's a nice safe place for our children to run around and play and there's horseback riding down the way and um, the grass is not a lot nicer than dirt and sand to camp on and uh, they love swimming in the pool. 
This park is so popular, you'll need to make reservations a year in advance to camp out on a major holiday. From a great view above Puddingstone Lake in San Dimas, I'm Ben McCain reporting. <laughs> hey, look what I caught. You know, here in SoCal, we have our fair share of beautiful lakes and reservoirs. Let's head to another campground that just happens to be off the shores of the biggest state water project reservoir in Southern California. Just north of Los Angeles, Castaic Lake is a great camping getaway from the nine to five stresses of the city. You know, I think it's like the, the campground's right on the edge of the, the lower lagoon and um, a lot of our campers fish well into the late evening, early morning and then uh, rest a little bit before going out again. Oh, I, I catch my limit every day and here's kind of slow but the pier is a little better. Campgrounds are located on three acres of the Lower Lake Lagoon. On the Lower Lagoon, we allow non-motorized boating, sailing, kayaking, canoeing, uh, windsurfing, or your, your fishing boats using paddles or um, electric motors. The main lake is a larger lake, and that's where we have all the motorized boating. Lots of water skiing, wakeboarding, fishing, um, tubing, you name it, people are out there having fun. Besides all the great water activities, Castake also has more than 10 miles of horse, hiking, and mountain bike trails to enjoy. But that's not the only reason Janice will be back. Oh, I love this one because the lake is, is just really beautiful and the store, shopping center is just right down the street so you can go down shopping if you want during the day. And uh, it's just, uh, I like it better. I like Castake. I think this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I come back again. So. From Castake Lake, I'm Jessica Rosales. There sure is a lot to do in Castaic, plenty of fishing, and even some things you may not expect, like moonlight kayak classes. Sound fun? Check out the Castaic Lake website, castaiclake.com, for more activities and info. Time for a quick break, but first, here's some SoCal fishing trivia. California has some great lake fishing, but where was the biggest largemouth bass caught in SoCal? We'll be back with the answer and more of SoCal's best camping right after this. Getting the job done right the first time is my idea of good customer service. I'm usually the first person in your home. Hi, I'm from Time Warner Cable. Being courteous and professional is important. I'll take the time to ensure your digital TV, phone, and internet installation is done right. And I'll listen and answer any questions. Excuse me, what was this button for again? In fact, I won't leave until you're completely satisfied. My name is Gabriel, and I am Time Warner Cable. Did you know Time Warner Cable now brings you the best of everything SoCal has to offer? Where are the best places to eat? What are the best family day trips? Where can I listen to the best music? SoCal's best spotlights the hottest people, places, and happenings that help keep Southern California sizzling. Finding SoCal's best is simple and easy. Click on Video On Demand Channel 1. Choose local and dive in. So catch the wave and stay connected with SoCal's best. Chris, great success every year with fantasy football. What's the secret? You know what, guys? That is an excellent question. That is why I'm deferring that to my experts. No comment. I make all the calls. These guys, they're just the eye candy. It's an all new season of Fantasy Huddle with Herbie Teope, Chris Goff, and Dave Nielsen. Here's something DirecTV won't tell you. They hate puppies. Fact. They charge you every month for HD service. Fact. Time Warner Cable HD is free. Saves you what could be hundreds of dollars. Fact. You could spend those hundreds of dollars on like a mountain of dog food. Fact. Puppies love dog food. Therefore, DirecTV hates puppies. Who hates puppies? Free HD, DirecTV doesn't have it. Time Warner Cable Digital Cable does. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. Welcome back to SoCal's Best. Did you get the trivia question right? Where was the biggest largemouth bass caught here in SoCal? Well, the California state record largemouth bass was caught at Castaic Lake in 1991. It weighed a whopping 22.1 pounds. 
Now that's a fish. Hey, SoCal campgrounds have it all. Mountains, lakes, beaches, bears. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's head to a few more campsites, this time toward the ocean. We'll head up the coast with Jerry Reeder. It's time to plan your camping adventure, so don't waste another moment packing your trailer, truck, or van. Go ahead, take your kids, take your dogs, and take your time enjoying one of the best campsites Los Angeles has to offer. No doubt this guy's enjoying himself at Leo Carrillo. It's located about 28 miles northwest of Santa Monica on the Pacific Coast Highway. You'll be camping under giant sycamore trees, and according to Ranger Martin, it has it all. It is the best of both worlds, and a lot of people don't realize our shoreline extends for several miles in either, either direction. We have our tide pools, we have our sandy beaches, we have our dog-friendly beaches, we have our dog-free beaches. Leo Carrillo is not only known for its unique location, but campers brag about its welcoming atmosphere. Oh, I just, I like, I like the environment. The rangers are super friendly. Everything's really clean. There's not a lot of trash everywhere. And they have showers. Yeah, and you can feed the squirrels. <laughs> when you're sitting around your cozy campfire, it's hard to imagine that this place is practically in your own backyard. You know, Leo Creo, it's, it's, I, I mean, how do we, we always say it's uh, 25 miles for 25 million people. It's the closest campground to the valley, Santa Monica, um, LA. And it doesn't matter which direction you come from, the destination will lead you straight to some furry creatures and some that may be lurking. It has a lot of different names. The name I'm most familiar with is Corbin's Cave, which was a director back in the 50s and 60s, and he made a lot of uh, horror films here. Yeah, this was, as I said, this was home to many, uh, many a sea serpent or sea critter that would come out and do what sea critters do in horror films. <laughs> Not only is Leo Carrillo famous for its Hollywood caves, it's been home to many honeymoon hookups. We've had true story. We had two twin girls and two twin brothers meet in front of the store, got married. And this was just, they met 13 years ago here. I went to their wedding, otherwise I wouldn't have believed it. You know, I mean, it's a happy place. <laughs> a place where kids can enjoy a safe campground, meet friendly rangers, all while marveling over a spectacular landscape. It's just so nice. And by camping in tents and everything, it's just got this sort of quaint feeling to it. And um, I love it. So I want, I like sharing it with my kids. Sharing Leo Carrillo with family and friends is a sure bet. I'm Jerry Reeder. Now that is laid back. Let's check out another mellow campground that's not far from the ocean. Not far from Leo Carrillo and even closer to town, Malibu Creek State Park is a hidden campground treasure. You can get there from PCH or the 101. Let's take a ride to Malibu Creek with Sharon Schoenberg. Just north of Los Angeles, up Malibu Canyon Road, is a quiet little state park that covers over 7,000 acres of rugged country, smack in the middle of the Santa Monica Mountains. Hi, welcome to Malibu Creek State Park. You can wade in a creek, take a hike, or climb rocks and trails. I'm always climbing here. It's, it's nice because it's cooler in the summer. This is kind of where most people go, unless you want to go way out of town or something. And if camping's your thing, bring your tent, camper, or RV. We like yeah. state campgrounds because most of them have a lot of, there's more space, you know, between the campsites. The campground is equipped with all sorts of modern conveniences. Well, sort of modern. This is excellent. It's very uh, picturesque. It's out in nature. Uh, it's quiet, serene, uh, yet you're 15 minutes away from civilization, if you will. With streamside trails and chaparral-covered slopes, the park is a feast for the eyes. I'm, we're looking at the mountains here. That's our view. From Malibu Creek State Park, 
I'm Sharon Schoenberg. Thanks, Sharon. Looks like fun. I'm having a great time here at Bass Pro Shops. SoCal's Best will be right back. But first, here's another trivia question. Which Southern California park was once owned by Bob Hope, Ronald Reagan, and 20th Century Fox? Do you know? We'll be right back with the answer.